Question number 15 says, assume the three blocks, M M1 equals 1 kilogram, M2 equals 2 kilograms, and M3 equals 4 kilograms. Portrayed in the figure below, move on a frictionless surface, and a force of F equals 44 newtons acts as shown on the 4 kilogram block. So what we have here is a block here, a smaller block here, and this larger block, and there's a cord attached from the the back block to the front block, and then there's something pushing this block. Um, it's not it the only the the action is transferred through this block to this to this cord, and it's pulling this one and this one inadvertently, but the direct force is being applied to the front block and it's a force of 44 newtons and so the question is first determine the acceleration of the given system so we have this this uh, block is one kilogram this one's two kilograms and this one is four kilograms and so we have our mass so our force is 44 our mass is seven and we want to find our acceleration of the given system so 44 over 7 equals acceleration which equals 6.28 and that could probably be rounded up to 6.29 um, and then it says determine the tension in the cord connecting the 4 kilogram and 1 kilogram blocks so uh, we have an acceleration here of our, our net acceleration equals 6.29 meters per second squared now if we if we were to cut this cord if we were to cut this cord right here and the 44 newtons was still being applied to the first block what would its acceleration be well 44 over 4 equals an acceleration equals 11 meters per second squared so it would have went 11 meters per second but there's a backward tension force that's slowing it down and that backward tension force is slowing it down at a rate of uh, uh, the difference of 11 and 6.29 meters per second so you do 11 minus 6.29 that's 4.29 uh, 71 meters per second is is how hard backwards this is being accelerated on the four kilogram block so you can multiply that by by four so this is the reverse acceleration so this is this is the a of reverse and the mass that's being reversed upon is the same mass so it's it's being reversed on the on the four kilogram block so times that by four and <coughs> you have a a force of 18.84 newtons pulling backwards that's the tension force so 18.84 is your tension force pulling backwards and the last thing it says is determine the force exerted by the one kilogram block on the two kilogram so what it's saying is we have this one kilogram block so this is one ki I don't know why the one kilogram is bigger than the two kilogram it's just how how it is in the picture and you have this four kilogram block and the force oh so it, it's asking what's the force of this one kilogram block being applied to the two kilogram block well how fast is it accelerating we just said that it was accelerating at it the acceleration is six point two um, let's go two nine meters per second squared that's how fast this two kilogram block is accelerating it's how fast all the blocks are accelerating so if it's accelerating at 6.29 meters per second so that we have a mass of two kilograms at 6.29 meters per second what would the force that what what force would have to be applied to it to make it do that and the answer is uh, so 6.29 times 2 12. Point so the force applied to that is 12.58 newtons. 
Now the other way to do that, um, there's another way to get to this number, and that's by using the tension in the rope. So the, we said that the backwards tension was 18.88 newtons, and uh, so the, that tension is divided, is, is caused by 3 kilograms of mass. And so because these are nice even numbers, I could take the 18.88 and divide it by the 3 kilograms that are there, which gives me 6.2933. And I could times it by these two to find out how much tension it's causing. So times that by two. And it's causing 12.58 newtons of tension so that's how many newtons that it would take to pull it